Halo Infinite is going to have strict input-based matchmaking when it comes to the multiplayer experience, so controller players and keyboard and mouse players will not be able to play with each other. Is this a fair balance of accessibility and competitive fairness? Well, let's dive into it, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So if you guys remember back in the April development update, they actually brought the point that there's going to be input-based matchmaking within the multiplayer experience of Halo Infinite. Now before someone leaves a comment, I know this is only for ranked modes as well. In social, keyboard and mouse players and controller players will be able to cross and homogenate and be able to play together and it's going to be fantastic but not so much for ranked. Within the April update, the discussion was about input-based matchmaking or the difference between controller and mouse and keyboard, stating social plays and custom matches are open to all. You can play on any platform and any device with anyone you like. For ranked matches, we plan to restrict competitive playlists based on input type, not console versus PC. That's because we believe that input is the largest differentiator in game playability. With things like aim assist on the controller or or precision of sniping with a mouse, which I don't know if this guy's tried sniping on a mouse and keyboard when it comes to playing MCC like I have. No scoping is a lot easier, but when you're scoping in on your shots, it's actually a lot more difficult to scope in a lot of times. It's often like a lot of times with mouse and keyboard, just better just to go for the no scope. You can play with a controller on your PC to play ranked with your console friends, or even mouse and keyboard on your console to play P with your ranked PC friends. So in this video, I want to go into some examples and talk about why this could be a potential issue when it comes to the accessibility and fun of Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these kind of discussion type of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a wrap up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So what really caused this division to happen within Halo Infinite's multiplayer experience? Well, it mainly started up because of the experience of playing mouse and keyboard versus controller on the MCC. With those MCC Halo games, they were designed from the ground up to be with controller only. They never had to consider balance between input devices as they were just strictly a console exclusive game with only with controller in mind. So you can specifically design the game around that exact input device so you can get much more fine detail, much more of a catered experience to that input device. Now 343 has done a pretty good job of bringing over mouse and keyboard support for these Halo games. And as a keyboard and mouse player myself, I say it's a pretty fair balance. Though if you're trying to get to the high level gameplay, then you might start noticing the difference between mouse and keyboard and controller a bit more. I mainly play social on MCC, well mainly because that's where I can find matches, and so I don't really notice too much of a difference between the input devices. There certainly are their differences though, as aim assist on controller really helps out with players with their ability to stay on target or track targets a little bit better than on mouse and keyboard, which is where I'm having issues keeping up with controller players. Like if you're trying to strafe left and right, well, while you're strafing, that aim assist is going to try to drag your cursor along with it as well. You don't get any kind of assistance when it comes to playing on mouse and keyboard. And when it comes to side to side tracking with the controller, you have unlimited amount of tracking. You can just constantly keep spinning, no problem right? Or keep panning to the left, keep panning to the right. When you're playing on mouse and keyboard, you have a limited space where you can drag your mouse to the left, drag your mouse to the right, and after that you have to pick up your mouse and then restart again. Not the most fluid motion. Now that's where you come in and test around your sensitivities there. But from my experience playing Halo MCC on mouse and keyboard, you want a really low sensitivity because you need to be able to keep up those micro movements in those strafing encounters. So it's a bit of a mixed bag of aim assist, red radical range, player movement that really plays into this issue of mouse and keyboard versus controller. Fellow Halo content creator Active actually reached out to Nick Merckx during his stream. You get to see his opinion about the strict input based matchmaking, how he doesn't really seem to like that idea. Dude, I want Halo. I want it. I know so badly. Are you going to so, grind so, it so even? Badly. So no, no, no BR, but you're still going to grind it with me, right? Yeah, but, I'm, I'm but, but we got to find a stack squad. Just, just go for 50s, I know. bro. We're gonna run into all the little dickheads, but don't worry, because we're gonna be polished ups. So that's not gonna yeah. matter. Oh, Clocky, peep this. This guy said, hey, bro, a uh, full-time Halo creator here. Active, no offense, but those exist. Uh, tr trying to get this <laughs> changed, but Halo splitting keyboard, mouse, and controller in ranked playlists. That's the thing. That's Can you fucking tell you or somebody to give me that? I'm playing on controller anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. See, this is one of those mm. games where controller is gonna be more OP than keyboard and mouse. So for me, yeah. I want them in the same 
in the same playlist. I don't want keyboard and mouse to have their own shit. But I feel I it though. I don't think it's healthy for the game. You don't? Splitting no, it? Not at all. Yeah, I, mean, I don't imagine, either. Yeah. Imagine if Warzone right now was split. Yeah. I right. just don't think it's healthy. Yet. So you can see Nick Marks, who's a like, very famous content creator on here on Twitch and YouTube, doesn't want that split. And you can see his friend also talked about that as well, saying it's not healthy for the game. Imagine if Warzone was split by input. It wouldn't really be that accessible for so many people. I talked about this on my news show that I do on my live streams every Tuesday and Thursday night, guys. If you guys want to check us out there, link in the description down below and in the pinned comment as well. And some of the solutions that were brought up in chat were talking about maybe just give keyboard and mouse aim assist, which could be a nice way to balance things out. But you definitely need to give keyboard and mouse their own style of aim assist as well if you're going to do that. Of course, if you do do that, then that might make keyboard and mouse more powerful than playing on a controller, and then they have the same issue but just with different inputs. Another suggestion is just a lower aim assist on a controller, and that's where I, I don't want to really mess with that a whole lot because Halo has a very specific feel. They actually brought this up in a previous development update as well. I feel like this quote here from the January update really kind of talks about what their philosophy is when it comes to intuitiveness and feel when it comes to playing Halo, saying, we feel strongly that everything we create has to be easy to pick up and understand that rock movement for players. Once we have something that is simple to understand, we push for depth that the player can appreciate and display in game through experience and mastery. And just so we're on the same page here, because I actually had to look this up as well because I did not know what Grok actually meant. It says understanding something intuitively or by empathy. So that's also why I feel like that Grok experience also kind of plays into how Halo plays on controller because that's how Halo feels. They even mentioned this previously that 343 doesn't want to mess with how Halo feels because it's a very specific feeling. If you tweak that in some capacity, it's not going to start feeling like Halo. So if you lower aim assist on controllers, well then it will mess with how that strafing left and right kind of feel in gunfights happens within Halo. So what can 343 do to fix this? Well, we'll talk about the solutions later on in this video. And next I want to talk about is user accessibility. This is an issue that I think is more about just getting people to be able to have fun with each other rather than actually having a truly competitive experience. Halo Infinite set itself up to be the most accessible Halo game we've ever had. Being available on all the Xbox One consoles, being available on the Xbox Series S and X consoles, being available on PC, Look, you can probably even play on xCloud right now on your phone, but then you can't play ranked with if you're playing a controller versus mouse and keyboard, that just can't happen. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, to be honest. Like I got my friend Patman Gaming, if you guys don't know him, check him out as well. He plays our controller. I've been playing on mouse and keyboard. I want to stick with playing mouse and keyboard. That's where I like to play Halo on now. If you both want to play ranked matchmaking games, we just can't. We won't be able to play together. That means I'd probably have to go to controller, which I haven't played controller in months now at this point. And when you're playing ranked, you want to bring your best self into those matches because you want to rank up and have some fun. And also creating this hard division, I feel like would also create this issue within the community, right? Like, oh, they're a keyboard and mouse player. Oh, they're a controller player. But like, say for example, if you have a keyboard mouse player, you have a controller player, both fighting for like champ one, let's say, if that's coming back in Halo Infinite for like the top ranked player in this playlist, you know, who's gonna find out who's actually the best? We're like, oh, you're only good because you're playing on mouse and keyboard, or you're only good because you're playing on controller. No, let's just see who is the best. Does this also mean that they'll have like strict input based, you know, matches when it comes to HCS competitive games? Because if you're gonna take your public games this seriously, what's gonna happen when you have money on the line? Is there gonna be like a keyboard and mouse division and a controller division for HCS? I mean, I don't see that happening. So why would you allow mixed inputs to play with each other in these highly hyper competitive settings with money on the line, but then you wouldn't allow allow mixed inputs when it comes to playing public matches. But I think ultimately comes down, these are just public matches. Like they're not like that serious of a game. Like I know you want to keep the true competitive experience of ranked matches within Halo. And I'm all for that as well. But I feel like this is a really odd hard cut to make within the community for these public matches that are just Nothing's really on the line besides just like clout and bragging rights, really. And also at the end of the day, we're just playing video games. So why not let us have fun with each other? I feel like this is gonna be the biggest issue when Halo Infinite launches is this hard division between input device matchmaking. So what is the solution that I think that's a fair balance between accessibility and giving people who want this really fair competitive experience, how do you accomplish all that? We don't have to look far for good examples within Halo of how to accomplish this, and that's within the MCC right here, Within the options, you go under settings, 
Then you go under network right here, and here you have a chance to disable or enable input-based matchmaking or platform-based matchmaking. So if you only want to play against controller players, you can. If you only want to play against keyboard and mouse players, you can. If you only want people on PC or only on console, you can do that as well. Giving players the option is, I think, incredibly important within the situation of trying to balance out the whole mouse and keyboard experience. Because it's never going to be 100% truly balanced between the two. You can get close, but ultimately there are always going to be these differences when you want to stay true to the controller experience and stay true to the mouse and keyboard experience. So if you've been on the loop for Halo news for the last few days or so, check out the link right here. I got a playlist with all my Halo news and informational videos, guys. We stay on top of everything a lot on this channel. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.